Hello everyone, what's up? This is Rich. This is part of a video tutorial series on the Windows Live Mail client. If you want to check the Live Mail client out, just go to google.com, search for Windows Live Mail as three words, click the I'm feeling lucky button. You will be taken directly to the Windows Live Mail download page. You can left click get it free, the big orange button. It will download an executable file which you can execute and install the software. The software is completely free, doesn't cost a thing. Uh, let me just go back to where I was here. Okay. A few quick questions answered. Is this Outlook Express? For all intents and purposes, yes. It's not called as such. It's called Windows Live Mail. This particular build is version 2008 build 12.0.1606. But you'll notice that if you go into the options section and you just scope around, for those that have used Outlook Express 6, this looks very familiar. Uh, which is actually good. So if you're familiar with Outlook Express 6, you'll really be familiar with uh, Windows Live Mail Client. If you actually are using Outlook Express right now, I suggest using this instead because you get more options and you'll uh, find that out as I do this tutorial series through. You also notice it just looks a lot better. So yes, for all intents and purposes, this is Outlook Express 7. It's just not called that. It's called Windows Live Mail. So if you're asking yourself now, why did Microsoft decide to change the name of the software? I honestly think it was a good move because people confused Outlook Express with Microsoft Outlook, which is a completely different uh, client. As a matter of fact, Outlook is not even really a client. It's a, it's a PIM, a personal information manager, whereas the uh, Outlook Express client is just for mail specifically. And Windows Live Mail, I'm glad they changed it so that there's much more distinction between which one is the free one and which one is the paid version. Okay, the first thing I'm going to explain here is how do I get it to look the way I do. You'll probably notice I don't have my reading pane enabled. Now, what I do, actually, you know what, before I cover that, how did I get these menus up here? You'll notice that by default, it looks like this. How do I do it? I just click this button over here and left click show all menus. Why do I have these menus enabled? I get more options and it, I'm just used to it. It's a personal preference on my part. You may or may not have use for it. I like having it enabled, so I keep this stuff enabled. Uh, now, the reading pane. I click on View and then Layout. And if I want the reading pane, it's the first option that comes with the layout options, I just tick this option, and I can either have it to the right or the bottom. If I have it on the right, You'll notice that I have a three column layout now. I have my email accounts and folders. I have my message list and I have the message. If I do a bottom layout, this is what most people have their mail configured uh, to look like. You have what it is is a folder email list uh, account list on the left, the message list and the message on the bottom. For whatever one that you click is the mail that will appear on the bottom. As far as the other options that are in layout, if we go to message list, you can do automatic two line or one line. If I do a two line view, watch my message list here. You'll notice that it separates it out and it, uh, for some people, this may be a little more easier to manage. I personally don't like it. I like having just a one line view reason. I can see more messages on my screen. As far as the folder pane is concerned, which is this side here. I have the show storage folders enabled and reason being is if I have some mail that is really huge, I just drag it in here. When I say really huge, I'm talking above two megabytes, which for an email is pretty, pretty big. Um, so I will draw, excuse me, drag and drop those over here and uh, quick views. I don't use, uh, I'll show you what it looks like. Watch the top left here. Quick views. I don't find too much usefulness out of this. Uh, some people might, I, I don't, because I just do everything from this right here instead of having to mess with that. If you have a lot of accounts put in to Outlook, uh, excuse me, I almost called it Outlook. If you have a lot of accounts put into Windows Live Mail, this may be useful to you, but being that I don't, I don't really have a use for it. Compact shortcuts, uh, watch the bottom left of my screen here. You'll notice that it changes the options at the bottom left to just an icon view. Again, I, I like to see the text, so I have it like this. Now the compact view for the folder pane, this is really compact. Again, watch the left side of the screen. 
you'll notice it changed everything to all icons. There was absolutely no text on the left side anymore. I don't like this personally. This, again, this is a personal preference. Uh, if you're someone who's really stuck on icons, maybe you'll like it. I personally don't really care for it, so I have it look like this. Uh, the message header, by default, is checked. Now, what happens if I uncheck this and hit apply? You see how this disappeared right here? I'll do it one more time just so I can show you. I'll enable it and it shows all this stuff right here about the uh, header information. If I have this unchecked, it's gone. Now, this will only really apply if you're using the uh, pane view. If you don't have the pane view enabled, then it, you really don't have to mess with this option. Now, the active search posts itself on the left. I have it normally disabled. If I enable it, it puts a Windows Live Search type of thing on the right side. I don't find this particularly useful, so I don't have it enabled. And that is basically it as far as my layout is concerned. So I'll disable my reading pane again, and then I have all my messages here. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to set up uh, different types of mail accounts. Uh, just as a quick overview here, what you can do is actually you can just click add an email account. And uh, what you can do is you can set up POP, you can do IMAP which includes Gmail. You can do um, yeah, Pop, IMAP, Gmail, and Windows Live, aka Hotmail MSN accounts. Uh, you can tack on your MSN, assume your Hotmail account really easily in this, and if you do that, you actually get to put in your messenger right in your mail client too, which is also pretty cool. So watch for that in the next video. Take it easy.